every every show is the robot. I feel like the robot. The, the robot is a little even more appropriate because I just got back from Japan and they have like robot cafes and I'll stop talking about it. Now. Welcome to Boxed no, In. This is a show where we open Disney merchandise, uh, drink a little bourbon, to use inappropriate humor. I don't know what you mean, Eric. Judiciously. Um, we don't do anything judiciously on this show. Who are no, um, my name's Eric. My name's Jill. Hello. And we are your stuff openers. We, we open stuff so that you don't have to. Yeah, who wants to open all this stuff? Who wants to? Um, warning, I will tell you, tonight's show is going to be long. pretty long. Yeah. We have... A lot of stuff. Merchant... I mean, Jason brought in merchandise that he and Tom both bought mm -hmm. in Japan, and it took like seven car trips of big boxes. There, there are boxes. It's pretty... Uh, we actually have a... We can maybe give them a preview of like how much merchandise there is. Because we have footage of Jason and Jill on the return trip from Tokyo. Yeah. And it was just in the airport and a train station. This was at, I believe this footage was from the train station. So we went to Kyoto and then we had to take the train from downtown Kyoto to the airport. So this is our footage of us trying to get from yep. Kyoto through the train to, uh, to Kansai Airport. Look at this. Look at you guys. The lengths we go to here at Boxton to make sure that you have entertainment. It was it was a lot. Um, I'm going to tell a little story. You see this big blue bag that I'm wheeling with this yeah. black and white bag attached? Uh -huh. So in the trip from Tokyo to Kyoto, we went through, um, we took the train, we took the Shinkansen, because mm -hmm. why wouldn't you when you're in Japan? That means bullet train. It does. And it goes like was 200 Brad miles Pitt an hour. Right? It was pretty, no, no sadly. Fights, no. no, no Sandra Bullock either. No, none of that. Um, so we are going from the train station to, uh, through the Tokyo train station to try to get to the Shinkansen. And I am, there aren't a ton of elevators and we tried to actually wait for one of the elevators and it was just constantly full of people. So we were like, we'll just try to manage on the escalator. So I take that big blue bag with the smaller bag strapped to it and I pull it onto the escalator behind me. And as the steps rise up, it like hit the bag wrong and knocked the bag. So we're going up the escalator. It knocked the bag down and like the, the sort of force of it was enough. I didn't have that tight a hold on the handle cause I didn't expect there to be anything trying to pull it out of my hand, like gravity. And so the bag just goes tipping down the escalator. Thankfully, there were, uh, there were a couple of security agents who were doing an inspection who saw all this happen. I think they were kind of watching us a little bit like, what are these bumbling Americans you doing? You look like you might have had bodies that you're willing uh, to the train maybe. station. Maybe, maybe. We were either suspicious or pitiable, one of those two things. So one of the security guards came rushing up and grabbed the bag and righted it on the escalator. And I said, thank you very much. And I went to try to take the handle of the suitcase from him. And he was like, no, like almost like forcefully, like, no. And like stood there and rode up the escalator behind me. Ma'am, this is for the safety of other people on the escalator. Maybe that's, we see that you yeah. cannot handle this. Because now we're going farther up the escalator. So instead of just falling over, it would now like tip and go down the escalator and potentially crush another person. So I think he was just like, I don't trust you. I'm going to uh, hold this. I, I want to keep this show about Japan as much as possible. But since we're talking about embarrassing things, I had probably the most embarrassing moment of my life today should we like like a couple hours ago should we have a drink for this story yeah this we'll is a drinking of kind of story isn't we it? do a bourbon every week um my story week. was also a drinking kind of story this week is jefferson's ocean um they put it on a boat and it Lee. crosses the equator repeatedly yeah so their thing is they bottle their or they put their bourbon in barrels and then it goes on to shark tagging research vessels and oh. stay, the barrels stay on the vessel for a period of time and they cross the equator a bunch of times. It's like several and, months that I it's mean, on it's the boat. I mean, it's a gimmick, right? Yeah. It's a gimmick, but... But, you know, well, hey, they probably donate some of, like, they probably pay some money towards, like, shark preservation research and... 
the result is, the whole purpose of that is because the bourbon is in the barrel, they load the barrels onto the ship, the ship is constantly rocking, I'm doing the robot again, and so the constant like gentle sort of sloshing of the bourbon in the barrel supposedly exposes more of the bourbon to the actual oak of the barrel. There's more of the bourbon as it moves around in the barrel coming in contact with the wood. So it's or supposed to give it it could just be a story and the rest is BS. Yeah. One of those two Make up your mind. So I, I believe the bourbon sloshes around in the barrel on the boat. I don't know how much I think it affects the taste, but uh, I think we're going to find out. This is from Voyage 23, and I have a little book oh. with the, like the captain's log. 23 was a good year. Yeah. All right. Um, and because this is um, a Japan-themed show, we have new rocks glasses from the 40th. Yeah. Little cubes in them. This, this is a gift from Tom to me. Um, there is a matching Mickey and Minnie. Yeah. These are Rebus Brothers. Apparently, the Rebus Brothers reach all the way to Japan. They do. It's a true story. Uh, I was in Minnie their with store. the Dream Garland and the 40th logo you can see there. I don't know if you'll be able to see with the ice cream. Yeah, they can see it. I can see it. It's got the little, what do you call them? The, band, the, the Dream Garland. Dream Garlands. You'll see much more of the Dream Garland shortly. Um, and then there's also a Mickey glass. And so Mickey is wearing, uh, Mickey and Minnie both, but Mickey is far more apparent, um, is wearing uh, his hat from the new 40th anniversary parade, Harmony in Color. So, and you'll see more of Mickey in his Harmony in Color hat coming up on, later on the show I might as well. have a fingernail requirement here. Um, there's some questions and comments. Please. Uh, hit me with the questions. Hit me with the comments. So Steve Mermelstein said, I think Jason brought Jill along just to transport his merch. <laughs> That's marginally true. Um, that is what siblings do, though. And then uh, I was okay with it. Tony Stank wants to know if Kyoto was cheaper to fly in and out of because Narita was so much closer to Tokyo. Uh, it was cheaper to fly home from Kyoto. When we booked right. the flight home, we, booked, we, we looked at booking the flight back through Kyoto and flying out of Kansai or taking the train back to Tokyo and then flying out of either um, Haneda or Narita. And it was cheaper to, the flight itself was cheaper, plus we didn't have to pay for the train ticket. So yes, it was slightly, but I have no idea if that's a consistent thing that it's cheaper to fly in and out of Kyoto versus just based on the day and the tickets we were trying to buy, it wound up being cheaper for that. And it wasn't significantly cheaper. It was only like a hundred bucks cheaper, but then you factor the train ticket on top of it, which is like another hundred bucks. Uh, it was definitely cheaper to fly out of Kyoto. Dream go round. Don't mind up yours. Indeed. Oh, it smells very mild it's and very sweet. smooth and buttery. Um, I don't even know. I didn't see what the proof is. It's not high proof. No, this isn't 90 high proof. proof yeah. And, uh, I wonder how old it is. Up there upset they didn't hear the cork pop. Yeah. Oh, we didn't hear the cork pop. Can we do it again? Oh, there you go. Sorry for the... A retroactive it's not a, it's not a pop. virgin cork pop, All but right. it'll do. Since I have a drink now, and I, I literally now. had something so embarrassing. Maybe the most embarrassing moment of my life happened to me at about 3 or 4 o'clock today. So um, I was in Publix in celebration. Um, Lee had given me a list. She's like, okay, for box in tonight, we're going to set up a... Lee always has a theme, right? So we have a nacho bar tonight. She's like, I need black beans and I need... Very Japanese. I need, yeah. I need, but, but we also had some sake, so right. it worked. So I need beans, I need salsa, I need taco sauce, I need... All the things. Pickled jalapenos. All, all the, need, the fixes right. for a taco bar. Um, it's a stellar nacho bar, by the way. You so guys are I'm, out. I'm walking through the store, and it's taking me longer than normal, because number one, I'm not used to that store, but number two, I don't know how to find anything in those stores anyway. <coughs> Believe it or not, what I had trouble finding was Velveeta, which is my favorite thing and normally I find easily, was not on the end caps like normal. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It I'm is normally walking, an end cap kind of item. And there's, you know when you're pushing a cart, there's a place where a little kid's like legs go through, like when they mm -hmm. can sit in the cart. Mm -hmm. um, there's like a piece of plastic that you can put up to block that. So I had done that or I thought I had done that. And I had a couple items on there. Um, I get to the registers in the main like thoroughfare of the grocery store. I'm, all, I'm 10 feet from the registers. A bottle of salsa falls out of where the toddler would sit, shatters on the floor before I realize it. I step on it. My foot, like, you know those infomercials when people are, like, exaggerating how bad they're falling or something like No, I did an infomercial fall. Your legs go right out from under you. My legs went right out from under me, but I softened it by holding onto the cart, which then went, popped a wheelie and came down on top of me. And I just laid there Eric. in a 
in a pile <laughs> of, of gla broken glass and, and salsa. salsa. And like 10 or 15 people ran up. And I was like, it took me a minute. I was very stunned. It was scary. It, um, uh, very stunned. And like, and finally I'm like, after a couple of minutes, I'm like, um, hey, if you, I know you probably can't give it to me, but if you have that security footage, I'll bet it's hilarious. <laughs> and like, no one's laughing. And then, like, the guy comes up, he's like, I just watched the security footage, and it's terrifying. Really? He's like, it's not oh funny God. at all. I was like, really? Oh, like, my God. Even, like, come on. It's funny, right? And he's like, no, it is not. You know funny. I didn't die and, or seriously injure myself. And so then I'm like, they're cleaning it up. The problem is now I have to walk and check out. Right. But I'm covered in salsa. <laughs> and shame. And shame. I did not somehow, and thank that. God, no broken glass ended up cutting me. I bashed my shin real good against the cart, and it has a big chunk taken okay. out of it. Oh, but, when you, your legs went out, yeah, one of your legs um, hit the cart. He does it. It looks like he has, like, a hole in I his leg. I have a leg, hole in my leg. In um, his shin. So they asked me a million times if I was okay. Yeah. And I was like, I... Well, this is, like, a huge, but like... did they give you the groceries for free? Paperwork no, filing. No. But then went and got more salsa for me and put oh, it in the cart. Oh, very nice. Um, so, and I'm still in... I was still shaking. Sure. Right? Oh, like, that's like I, that's never adrenaline. Happened to me. I'm never just, just falling. I'm wearing like Chuck Taylors, like yeah. slip-ons. Yeah. So they're not exactly the least slippery shoes. They're not. No, you don't give your restaurant crew a lot of traction. Yeah. But they are leaving like patterns of salsa in the floor, and they don't have like a mop out yet. They're just kind of. So I'm like, I can't. I don't really want to walk and check out because I'm just gonna make a bigger mess of your store. Right. And they're then like, somebody's gonna get him some paper towels because my back is covered in salsa. Oh my lord. And all I could think is like, I don't think anything's wrong with me. How did I don't you think... not have any glass embedded in you from all of this? I don't know. Wow. So um, I think maybe it broke into big pieces. Okay. Um, Probably the label so... kept it too. Like, oh yeah, the maybe. kind of kept it glued together. So, too. but you, in that moment, you're like, do I, am I hurt? Right. I don't feel hurt. I mean, my shit hurts. Know. My pride hurts. I'm like, I mean, I'm in shock almost. And I'm, and I'm like, I'm not hurt but you know you ever watch those zombie movies when they fight off a zombie they're like whoo that was a close one and then five minutes later they're like oh you have a bite mark on you yeah like you know or a guy well the adrenaline kills right, the or, pain yeah. so if something hurts you can't really feel it so and i was like I, yeah i thought maybe i have a shard of glass in my back because my back is soaking wet yeah turns out it was just salsa public brand salsa hot um just fyi you have a new hashtag <laughs> hashtag salsa and shame salsa and shame right <laughs> I think that's the, the hashtag for the show. The right? only other, and I know so we want to open merchandise. I don't want to make this show about me doing dumb stuff. Um, this there's is a, a moment great story. that is close to that, which is I was in a production of The Nutcracker. Um, Where is this coming from? <laughs> when I was like young, when I was young. Like, and they had the ballet, but they had like a first act that's acting. And I'm like the kid who broke The Nutcracker. So just like an acting scene, probably my first real play. And it's like a big place. Like, it's not like a little community theater. It's in KU's main theater with like multiple mezzanines, orchestra pit, like a retract, like a, a hydraulic pit, all this stuff. And I'm running around the front of the stage and and busted my ass right on the front of the stage, like hanging over the orchestra pit. Where, by the way, my mom was in the orchestra down there, like looking down at the violas, like. And I think I dropped an S bomb. I'm like in fifth or sixth grade, and nobody wore a microphone, nobody wore body packs. They had the front of the stage mic. And I think I did it, and I'm pretty sure that I was, like, this far from one of the front of stage mics when I dropped it. It was on TV, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Anyway, this tops it. To lay there in the middle of Publix with 25 people surrounding you eventually. Wow. You're covered in salsa, and you're, like... Wow. <sighs> horrible. The things you go through so that we can have a nacho bar. Hashtag salsa and shame. Salsa and shame. Salsa and shame. <laughs> I like it. Oh. oh, we have another Tokyo. Tokyo video to play. Oh, yeah. Is this Jason in luggage? Oh, is this the woman that luggage runs away? Watch the blue one. It's like, bye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and real quick, because people asked, I was, uh, yes, I was in New Orleans for business uh -huh. this week, yeah. only for a couple of days. Did Sunday you bring night. back a buttload of merchandise? No. I brought, oh yeah, I brought back like Chotskis that they gave us. Oh, yeah. I didn't buy, Swag. I didn't go shot. I didn't really have time to do anything. Um, I did allude to it on show last night though. I did meet someone who's very 
uh, much part of New Orleans fiber. Uh, so there he is, right from right in front of me, Harry Connick Jr. So good. Got it. And I had Shout about out. a five minute like personal conversation with him. Two, maybe two minutes, but very very nice, humble guy. He ate beignets with us. There were only about seventy of us. That's in awesome. It's a very small room. Is cool. He told a lot of cool stories. And uh, and then we did the most tourist thing ever, which is they ran a second line for us to walk to dinner, which makes me, made me feel kind of like cool. there you go. Look at that. They close off the street and they put us in there. Our hotel had that. Uh, kind of fun. Yeah. I, it, after a while, I was I felt. They weird. treated you like the star that you are. Exactly. Are you TV's Eric Morton? They said quite often. Um, I was wondering if and the then, throngs of fans. But I want to show the carousel. The bar in our hotel lobby. The carousel bar. Yeah. We stayed at a place called Hotel Mon, Monteleon. And there you go. There's the carousel bar. That's it makes one cool. revolution every 15 minutes. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's really old. Really old. But it was cool. We had a good time. Makes you want to go there. Really good bar. So I've been in New it's, Orleans. It's pretty so famous in New Orleans. I'm sure okay. like most people didn't. But I was in New Orleans for less than 48 hours. So it's probably the better way to do it. When I travel, I don't get to go to Japan. Otherwise, uh, to to you'd Tokyo, have another whatever Paris, and shame all this hashtag. stuff. I went to New Orleans. Uh, we will be just a, a coverage note. No, that's my hashtag. Um, <laughs> A coverage note, we booked tickets today. We are going to the festival in Marceline, Missouri in Oh, June very cool. By the Walt Disney Hometown Museum. Yeah, yeah. Citizen's going to unveil a new clock that's a replica of the clock on Main Street. We're going to go to Walt's farm and have a fireworks show. Oh, my God, yeah. that's amazing. So Jason, Tom, and I are all going. That's really cool. Yeah, so. Well, um, uh, hopefully you'll get some. But enough about me. You'll get some cool merchandise there and bring it back for Boxed In. Something tells me the Marceline, Missouri Museum doesn't have a lot of cool merch. Maybe. But who does? Tokyo Disneyland. Correct. Tokyo Disney Resort. Why don't you lead us off, Jill? Show us a, just hit it. Start. So the whole purpose of our trip. Give us a highlight of the trip. Like give, give a 30 second. Okay. So we went when we did because uh, it was the 40th anniversary of Tokyo Disney Resort on April 15th. So we wanted to be there for the anniversary. And what the anniversary meant in part was that the old... Um, the old parade, which had been dreaming up, which had been introduced for the 35th anniversary, was going away, and a new. And by parade. going away, means they're probably just shipping it to Disney World, right? We should be so freaking lucky. Dreaming up was so we saw we got to see the very last dreaming up uh, on the first day we were in the park, which was the 9th, April 9th. We got to see the very last dreaming up, and then on April 10th they uh, did a soft preview, basically of Harmony and Color, the new parade. So that was a big part of our reason for going. And then they ran Harmony and Color all week. And then the following weekend, the 15th, was the anniversary, which was supposed to be the big debut. They had a whole media thing, blah, blah, blah. Supposedly, uh, Demaro and Iger were there, although it rained all day. There's the, for as much as we had a lame anniversary, at least our anniversary was not rained out here in Walt Disney World. It poured rain all day. They didn't even have their rain parade, right? They just canceled right. all of them. So we had initially like thought, okay, we still want to save some space for the parade because we we still want to see it, even though it, we expected probably the rain version, which they take out the dancers and they put um, like basically raincoats on the characters. We thought we were going to get that about 10 or 15, maybe half an hour, maybe not even half an hour before the parade was supposed to step off, uh, they put out a big announcement over the loudspeakers that the parade was canceled. Now you have thousands and thousands of people in the hub and all up through. And, and um, just, uh, sorry to interrupt you, quick note, Japanese uh, Disney fans are way into parades. It is like, into parades. Well, their you, parades they, are stake out their, they stake out their spots eight hours ahead of time. I, the one thing I will encourage, if you are remotely interested in Tokyo, go watch our video of Harmony and Color. It is beautiful, gorgeous. I was like crying with happiness. It was so good. Amazing floats. They had a float for Up. They have a float for Zootopia. They have a great one for Coco. They have dancers. They had these cool, um, uh, before the like before and after each float, they had um, like on the ground performers, whether they were dancers or musicians or whatever, uh, kind of escorting and then tailing each float. And so in front of the the up float, they had little baby Kevin's walking down the street, which was the cutest thing ever. Um, before the Coco float, they had they basically made it was a bicycle, it was a regular bicycle, but they built this um, sort of uh, 
I don't know, costume basically for the bicycle, so it looked like an al Alabrea, the um, the carved. Uh, yeah, Alabrihe. 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 The flying. Yeah. The flying, the 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 cocoa version of a banshee. Yes, yes, and sort of these like spirit animals, um, and so like people are riding bikes that look like, and then like they have little push ones that are like little puppet. Oh my God, they were like think of um, Mary Menagerie at Animal Kingdom, Those except puppets. they're they're Alabria, and mm -hmm. and they were so cool. Like just the depth of detail and like how immersive everything was. That it wasn't just a float, but they had all these characters. We got great characters. They have a walk around Cheshire Cat character. We don't have that here. If I had a dollar for every time I said, why don't we have that? I would have. You could have paid for the trip. I could have paid Maybe for not the all trip. this merchandise. Maybe not all the merchandise. We bought a lot of. Because holy crap. We bought a lot Strap of in. Get comfortable. You're 20, 20 minutes in and you haven't opened anything. Uh, it might be time. <laughs> It might be time. Yeah, to some of them All don't right. know us, so they're just tuning in for the merch. I, I don't uh, really care about. I'm our so story. okay. We're, we believe me. There's so much Tokyo Disney merch. So let's get started. Let's open up a few things. We're gonna start on. I want to start with the popcorn bucket. <sighs> is this delight? Yes. So Tokyo Disney is renowned for their popcorn buckets. We brought home. I want to say five different popcorn buckets. The 40th. There's a Cool Monsters Inc. one. So we're going to do another show where we show you some of the non-40th anniversary. Tonight is all just 40th anniversary. But we have a ton more of other merch. So we got a Monsters Inc. popcorn bucket. There's a really cool Small World one. There's Pooh. There's Zootopia. Um, but this was the specific like 40th of anniversary. <laughs> So That's what we got for the 50th anniversary. You think anniversary. it's no big deal, right? It's just, it's just this canister. It's got a clear plastic lid with the 40th logo on top. We'll, sh we'll close up this for you in a, in a minute. But the cool part is that there is a light inside this bucket. And when you turn the light on, it actually... I, have a, I made a video of it in the studio when it was dark so they can see what it, happened. That is on, projects on the floor. Later. The light from the bottom of the bucket projects the 40th logo on the ground. So as you're in the evening, as you're walking around the Tokyo Disney Resort, you see all these people carrying around the bucket and you see the 40th logo all over the ground. It was so cool. It's just, it's so clever. It's like this added little plus for the popcorn mm -hmm. bucket that you don't even notice is there, but then nighttime comes and all of a sudden it's a whole other thing. Really That's cool. amazing. Was your, uh, quick, quick answers. I'll ask you quick touristy questions in between. Merch. Ask me, ask me all your favorite Tokyo. popcorn flavor at Tokyo Disneyland. Uh, Tokyo Disney. I loved the curry. For me, curry was tops, especially when you got it warm, like and fresh. Oh my God, the curry was great. We also loved the um, black pepper. Was fantastic. Uh, I liked the garlic shrimp. I know uh, people feel kind of polarized about that. They had a special 40th anniversary popcorn that was berry cheesecake that was I thought was pretty gross. Um, I definitely preferred the sweet flavors over the, or the, the savory flavors over the sweet flavors, but they're good. Like every, pretty much every popcorn uh -oh. stand has a different flavor of popcorn. We're gonna play the game where we mess with this camera again. <laughs> Here we go. Least favorite game. <laughs> But the other great part is like if you just want a box of popcorn, it's sure. 400 yen, which is cool. like uh, maybe like three dollars and 25 cents for a box of popcorn. Like it's a super cheap snack, and they're delicious, and you can get them everywhere in the park. So if you are going to Tokyo, like if you, the popcorn is worth it. It's so unique. It's so good. It's so tasty. Uh, would definitely like. Every day we were there, we got some different flavors. All right, this right. camera is a Let huge. That's me. Show, this is not me. Er Eric is the one doing this. It's not Lee. I can verify. That works. <laughs> I don't know. I think I think it's a failure. I'll move this back. Nope. Maybe we don't use the rotating thing anymore. It's not great for larger for items. For larger maybe. items, that was my mistake. You can take it off. You can certainly change the shot because I'm sure these people would much rather look at me. <laughs> Our next item up for grabs on the prices, right? Uh, this is, uh, again, uh, notorious, or uh, at least uh, noteworthy. renowned. Noteworthy. Renowned. Renowned snack from Tokyo Disney Resort is chocolate crunch. Ooh. Of course, there was a 40th anniversary. There were actually, like, insane numbers of different snack package, like, snack sort of packaging. Uh, there were little totes, there were plastic bags, there were all kinds of things with different snacks. They have all kinds of weird, crazy snacks that they package up in different 40th anniversary sort of little 
totes and things, but of course I wanted Choco Crunch because Choco Crunch is the most delicious thing ever. Uh, so you've got the 40th anniversary. Is this the one that got dented? This is the one that got dented. We, um, this, this one actually, this tin actually, uh, the story I told you about the, the bag falling down the escalator, this was in the, that little black and white bag that hit the escalator first, so this had a little dent in it. Jason managed to pop it out. Uh, Jason took it to a local body shop. <laughs> Like all those, uh, they put some Bondo in there and repaint. All those things you see on the infomercials to pop out the dent in your car also works on your Choco Crunch tin. Uh oh. Um, I here? I just want to show the top of this because there is a little. You get you can see that it's kind of gold, but there's a little rose gold tint to the whole yeah. thing, right? It's a. Yeah, it's kind of iridescent. -y. A little rose goldy on the, on gold. the font. So as if, if we give you price, um, I'll try to do a American dollar price comparisons for things as we go through. But for your reference, while we were there, the dollar is very strong against the yen right now. So uh, 1,000 yen is about $8 American. So this was 2,800 yen. So a little like 20 23, bucks. 24 bucks. Yeah. But and this one, it is full of delightful Choco Crunch. If you've never had it, it's basically kind of like uh, Nestle Crunch, but a lot more crunch than Nestle Crunch has. So there are three flavors that come in the t four, actually. Um, this, I believe, is pistachio. Uh, those are just little eggs. These are um, milk chocolate, which are little Mickey heads. Chocolate. Uh, I believe the pink is strawberry, right? Pink is strawberry. Pink is strawberry. These are, and these are also little eggs. And then the white is vanilla. Oh, no, white chocolate. Gross. We don't want white chocolate. You can I'll see there's, a, there's still really a little dent Are we eating top. this? Uh, yes. Everyone I don't want to eat all your chocolate. Crunch. Everyone gets a chocolate crunch. Well, I mean, I do. Strong packaging. Uh, by the package way, I have something we're going to be giving away later that's in this drawer. So stay tuned. We will have a giveaway. We have a giveaway from our trip to Tokyo. I'm going to try the pistachio. Oh, that's nice. Oh, my God. Strawberry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's mostly white chocolate, to be honest, but there's a little pistachio flavor, and it's really tasty. This is really good. They're so crunchy. So definitely a must do when you're in Disney. Um, in addition to the 40th tins, there were a whole bunch of other decorative tins. You can get smaller versions, larger versions. There are a couple other flavors that we didn't get in this one. They're really hard to open. Lee is over there with it in her mouth. There's a milk tea one. There was, I think, a green tea one. But the tin was nice because it gave you a selection of four different flavors. Lee's making a face like she doesn't like the strawberry. It's more strawberry than I thought it would be. It's good. It just isn't That's the thing about Tokyo. It's more of everything than you expected. That's actually a really accurate statement. Tokyo is more everything than you thought it would be. It's not quite as sweet as I thought it was going to be, but it's very good. There's a lot of stuff in Tokyo that's like very, especially fruity stuff, that's very strongly flavored without being sweet. It's fantastic. A lot like, of green stuff. A lot of green stuff. Yes. Like green tea. Ocha. Whatever that flavor was. What? Ocha. Or ocha. Ocha is green tea in Japanese. Yeah. There's mochi. Well, mochi. mochi is mochi is the dessert, basically. But yeah. Yeah, but so. I, I was I, when I saw the pistachio, it very well could have been mochi flavored. Uh, yeah, I would have it was, well, I would like have green matcha. tea. Did yeah. they, they do have matcha flavored ones. They just weren't in the bucket. So our lovely Choco Crunch tin. Uh, we have a ton more things. Here's something weird. Here is something weird. We're going to say that one a lot. Uh, this is mini. Honestly, I don't know who the hell that is. It? It's Mickey, I guess. That is Mickey in his in Harmony his and Color costume. Harmony and Color costume. May I open it and put it on our rotating podium? 2,500 yen. Jill, can you give a brief explanation of the difference between mochi and matcha? Oh, matcha is, green, is um, powdered green tea. Matcha is... And it, mochi it, is like a, its own thing. Mochi is those little desserts. So I believe mochi is actually sort of the, it's like this sort of gelatinous 
wrapper that they put around mochi to hold it all together. I believe it is tofu based. Tofu um, rice. Is it rice? Oh, it's like the glutinous rice. That's what it is. Mochi is the glutinous rice. It's kind of like a skin that they make out of the gluten from rice that they can then wrap around like sort of <laughs> more jellied or custardy desserts to hold them in shape. I don't think I know what this is. Is it tape? It's it tape. Like it's tape. tape dispenser? It's a tape dispenser. Yeah. It's a Mickey Mouse, oh, of yeah. course. It's tape. little rolls of tape. Like on a Mickey, yep. getting ready for the coronation Saturday. That's kind of that's kind of about right. Uh, Did you just pour me a new one? Nope. It just magically. It just appeared. magically. Appeared. Magically appeared. We also have a Tokyo Disney um, phone case holder, so you can put your iPhone or it's not brand specific, but um, if you want to tote your, if you're into that kind of phone holder and you want to tote your uh, 40th anniversary stuff around with you, it's pretty cool. This is a weird thing. It's a medallion. So if you went to specific sit-down restaurants, we got this particular one at Crystal Palace. If you bought a bottle of wine, you could pay an extra 2,000 yen, which is like $16, $16. to get this medallion. But you had to buy a bottle of wine in order to be able to purchase the medallion. That almost looks like it could hang on a bottle of wine. That's kind of what it's meant for, yes. It's even got Tinkerbell on the... There's a lot of stuff that you have to buy food in order to purchase the thing. The popcorn buckets, for example. But we have some other things we'll show you shortly where, like, you have to purchase the food in order to then purchase the additional thing that comes with it. What is this? Did we already do it's this? It's a phone holder, yeah. No, we did it when you okay, sorry, I had to go sneeze. <laughs> I, I took my microphone off and walked around the corner to sneeze. Uh, this is just a little tin of mints. Uh, we can open this up and, and check it out. This is only 700 yen, which is like under six dollars. And you get their little, uh, they're not mints, I'm sorry, they're little um, like uh, individually wrapped candies oh. in 40th wrappers, which are really cute. But this, like, I mean, they go all out, even the little wrappers on the little pieces. Where so, can you buy a cute little thing to, for like under six dollars at Disney World? They don't have that stuff here. It's really nice that they have sort of like more little inexpensive. Things that you can just, oh, I just want to bring somebody back a 40th thing. I can yeah, spend five even, bucks and get it. Even little wrappers are that's crazy. That's they crazy. have the little Mickey and Minnie hats. The detail is absurd. It's the amount of effort they put into things is really crazy. So uh, then, of course, there was the 40th anniversary shirt. Uh, so this is fun. We called this the ugly shirt because um, it's I, really. I bet I know why. It's really, it's really a lot. It's really loud. Um, and actually, interestingly, I have. They also released a our, very. Can we open this, or is this Tom's? This is Jason's. Okay. We. There was actually a very, very similar shirt. I should have worn it tonight, actually. From Jason was wearing one the other day. Thirty-fifth anniversary. Were you, were you wearing a shirt like this the other day, or is it Disney World? Somebody's asking if you can talk about your opinions of the table service restaurant food. Did you like the food options? Um. No. Oh my. Everyone says that's, no. That's, yeah. So you've got the Dream Garland, you've got them uh, in all their sort of costumery, and then you've got the 40th anniversary. It's got the pocket here in very front busy. with the little tag. It's I very like it. busy. I would wear it. Um, I enjoy it. I got one of these for myself as well. I'm not a fan of all over prints or whatever you call all over yeah. graphics. But it's a lot. I know that's a it's thing a for um, There's a lot going I'm on. Here for 20 it. year olds. It's got Pluto on it. Look at that. Uh, we did not eat at a lot of sit-down restaurants in the park. Is Crystal Palace the only place we ate sit-down? Yeah, we did a lot more counter service in Tokyo. Consensus in from everyone I've talked to that's been there is everything at Tokyo Disney is better than here except for their food. Their food. Their snacks not are good, but their food is low quality. Correct. Yes. I think that's. I think that's true. I. I didn't have any like. The meals were, no, lie, Hungry Bear was great. Uh, totally not. Tokyo Disney Sea has some pretty rough food choices is what I'd say. Disneyland is better, um, but overall, eat the snacks, not the meals, is I think the, the like general guiding advice. I'm not and saying And these are people who that. eat Asian food and know, like this isn't a cultural like, oh, you just don't understand how our food is. It's just low quality theme park food. It's low quality theme park food. Also, a lot of it is um, 
Like, Weird. either they're trying to do, like, Americanized food, and it's not. Like, how our Chinese food isn't really Chinese food. Their American food is not really American food. Um, they also do a lot of other cuisines in the park. So this one place we ate was um, Chinese food, and I think it was relatively closer to authentic Chinese food, and it was, like, cold tomato soup, and, Ooh. yeah, it was, there's a lot of... But like not in like a gazpacho kind cold of way. Cold on purpose or cold because it was no cold prepared. on purpose. Okay. But it like had I don't it was a little gelatinous. It was a little weird. Uh, next up we have a pin banner. So we've had some of these here where you buy like the mystery pins and then you attach them to the the little pin sort of banner. Uh, that this is the 40th anniversary one. It's got the castle on it. Their castle decorations were beautiful. They, uh, they had a big 40th on that lit up in front of the castle. The, you had all the sort of colors integrated. It was very pretty. Uh, I guess I misspoke when I said the only thing that's better here is food. Also, our fireworks, obviously, you mentioned earlier. Their fireworks are kind of crappy. Their fireworks suck. Yeah. Their fireworks are five minutes long. When they have them, they're probably canceled more often than they're not. Um, they're small, they're low, they're... But they're on like a bay where it's super windy and stuff. They probably can't... They have a lot of wind and they have a lot of people that live close by. Like there's a lot of very close residential, kind of like Disneyland, where like the minute some smoke blows around your house, people like start calling and bitching. So, uh, yeah, they... Um, Not there, though. They tend to cancel the fireworks a lot. Uh, so to go along with the pin banner, we have a whole bunch of pins from the anniversary. There's Mickey and Minnie in their uh, 40th anniversary Harmony and Color costumes. All of these character pins are 1,100 yen, which is like $8.50. Wow. Again, things that we don't have here is pins that Maybe cost... Maybe $17.99 here or $21. At least, at yeah. least, yeah. So, I mean, a part of why we brought so much merch home is that most of it is probably half of what it would cost here in Walt Disney World. So you can literally afford to buy twice as much merchandise because... It's, um, it's much cheaper. One day, one Yale day, what Pluto. we're going to do is, on this show, we're going to have a little barcode scanner, and as we show people stuff, it's going to tally up what you spent, <laughs> and we're going to have a running tally at the bottom of the screen. I don't want to, I don't want to know. I don't think I want to know. And there's Goofy. Oh, that's all the pins. That's, that's the whole set of pins. There's a Where's the big one? I was going to say the big one. So those are all the character pins, and then this is the jumbo pin. Again, jumbo pin, this is like $17. Not a thing we have here is a $17 jumbo like pin. Like 2,000 yen, something like 21. 21. The Dream Garland. Uh, they have that, just so you know, the Dream Garland, they, that's a big deal there. That's like the, this big symbol, and they have it on their, all the cast members have it on their name tags. It's hanging on walls in some of the hotel rooms. It's so like someone decided that pennants are called garland since and that it's a really big deal. Talking about Dream Garland, uh, we'll show that off next. So yes, to Eric's point, Dream Garland is a huge deal. You've got all of these um, triangular pennants everywhere. Um, we, they released 40 different color combinations. So you'll see this one, for example, is green and orange. This one is blue and purple. But there's just individual Red and purple. Pens. They're all, they're each individual pennants. They're each 700 yen, so like a little over five bucks. Uh, and again, they release 40 different ones. And, and so. do they sell like a chain that they all mount to? Is it? So they okay. come, so the, there's like a little I thought there might be like a gotta catch them all type of like, oh, look, there's an empty oh, spot you in can, your. You can connect them. You can connect uh, them. Yeah. So you've got the little connector. They're all on a cord. You can connect them together. Or if you want to wear them individually, they designed these interesting little sort of like lanyardy kind of deals that are specifically made to drape, the, to like hang the dream garland off the bottom. And they had a Mickey one These and a Castle one. They're really cute. All the cast members got one of the garlands and wore it under their name. Oh, that's, but there's a picture of it there with the garland, or the, yeah, the garland hanging off of it. So this is like a random selection. We just picked up a bunch of the, um, of the regular garlands. So you can kind of get a feel for all the different color schemes that it came in. There's a lot. 
But yeah, 40 different ones. So we bought maybe like 10 or so. But then we also. Um, you can see the little plastic. Like you can actually the connector. Put yeah. them together. Yep. And it's just like a little plastic thing that pops apart. Oh, it looks like you can connect it to a tote bag too. You can, yeah, you can, you can basically wrap. I had one on my purse. They can go anywhere. Uh, by the way, I have to say that since Jill has returned, she's like wearing, they have little stuffed animals that are, they call badges that are on like a little, we'll she's wearing her Shandu badge around, carrying it okay. with her. I carried my little Shandu to Animal Kingdom. And as I tapped into Animal Kingdom at the tap style in the front of the park, the CP, and I'm really sorry, I'm going to throw you under the bus, said to me, is that Raja with a Jafar hat on? Okay. I said, no, this is Shandu. He's from Tokyo Disney. And she said, this was, this was when I was like, I have to walk away. I said, this is Shandu. She said, do you mean Shamu? Oh, no. I just, I had to go. I had to go. <laughs> But yes, part of the reason I'm that they're, they're here on the college program is to learn. <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. In all honesty, though, I don't think I would have known Shandu before I met Tom because I. Yeah. But you know what Shamu is. Well, yeah, he's a whale. You don't think Shamu is a tiger? No. What does Shandu say? <laughs> <laughs> Literally, scene. that's it. There, there are all these. When you Shandu is. Um, Voyage of Sinbad is kind of like, um, I feel it's a little bit like Small World, but with like grand show scenes instead of just sort of like little vignettes of children everywhere. They're actual like active show scenes. But there's a Shandu in every show scene, and every little Shandu is just a little animatronic that goes meow. I found a little, I'll make a little badge out of Poppy and wear her around. Yeah. Put a little chain on her. We'll wear it to the parks. I'm going to um, do that all the time now. That's so my no squeezy. I did pull out some special of the Dream Garland because these are resort specific. So each of the Tokyo Disney Resort hotels released its own special uh, Dream Garland. I feel like this is like flair, like yeah. you know, you wear really like from uh, office wear space. But so there's one from Miracosta. There's one from. Oh, the they they, uh, they triggered the poppy. The poppy uh, activation. Graphic. Poppy's been activated in chat. You're so famous, Poppy. Um, and then this is kind of, I'm going to un undo the, because the, I think this one is mine, so I'm going to undo the thing. And then how we have light up, uh, like, necklaces and things you can buy in the park. They actually made one that was the Dream Garland, oh which is so super cute. I had to have it. I thought it was great. Look at that. Oh, I would so be wearing that in the parks. Oh, you got your Donald's. And they're eyeless. That's fine. You got your mini. Oh, this is an Arebus pen. She loves to stand up on my arm. Look at this. She's like, I'm gonna stand, uh, fully stand on you. Where's Pluto? Oh, uh, did he get shortchanged? Pluto? Pluto got shortchanged. What a daisy. Um, so to continue, sort of the dream garland theme, we also got. I don't actually like. I, I suppose you could wear this as like a charm bracelet. I don't, I think you just kind of attach it to a bag or something. I don't really honestly Maybe know what hat, you're, you're supposed to do with hat. it. But it's this cute little sort of chain of the characters. Oh, with and the they're little, like baby characters. Yeah. Not it's like, they're like stylized. Yeah. How cute. Wait, wait, wait. Who? A little plastic pennant. So it's not Fab Five. What do we have on there? It's Daisy instead of Pluto. That's mm -hmm. what I was just Yeah, but what's about. the, what's at the far right? Chip and Dale. Oh, Chip and Dale. Okay. We also have a, um, a keychain that's got Mickey. It's got the 40th logo with the castle. It's got a little Mickey um, hanging off it. It's got some little Dream Garland hanging off it, too. All the Dream Garland all the time. There was a lot of Dream Garland everywhere. They actually had a really cool um, balloon that had Garland hanging off it. Like, it was attached to the balloon and hanging off it. It was really cute. That's really cool. Um and we've got, um, there's a magnet with Mickey and Minnie. Oh, and that's like super 3D. Mm-hmm. You can't really see it, but it's all The magnet is like 10 bucks. All this stuff oh, is like. Oh, uh, Oh, we got a super chat. 
Yes, apparently there were some super chat issues, but he got through. D Hughes, uh, thank you. D thanks Hughes. for sharing your trip with us. Thanks. Uh, thanks for tolerating me talking nonstop about um, d Tokyo. This looks like a bracelet. So this is one of those you have to buy the food to get the thing. So it's a it's it looks like a bracelet, bracelet right? but you're supposed to wrap it around your drink cup. So you had to buy this weird like coffee milk beverage with like. It's like boba, but instead of being like gelatinous little balls, they are gelatinous um, yeah, like sheets. It's like, it's called like a, something grass, some kind of grass. Um, so you just get these like pockets of little like weird gelatinous stuff that you slurp up with your coffee drink, but you have to buy this weird coffee drink in order to get this little um, decoration for your drink cup. I feel bad that the 50th, I mean, some of the coolest 50th, there was cool 50th merch here. But it wasn't as, it didn't have a cohesive feel to it. No, right? there were like five different There were like those weird stuff. collections, and the, the vault stuff, stuff the was vault. better than any of the yes. collections. You're wearing yes. the vault shoes, the vans. I've got the vault vans um, on right now. Um, anyway, we have a lot more stuff to show you. We're going to take a break and then uh, come back in. You'll be able to not only see more of this merchandise, but have a chance to win something. Yeah. That we'll send to you for We've free. got a Tokyo Disney 40th anniversary giveaway for you at the end of the show, so stay tuned. The magic called you to a celebration 50 years in the making, and we f***ing blew it. Now, feel the magic everywhere as we erase the worst anniversary event in Disney Parks history. See the fireworks show you love return. Finally, ride that coaster we promised you for the last event. See us sail off those piece of shit barges in World Showcase Lagoon, and Experience the lesser of two evil fireworks shows nightly at Epcot. Come see the Cinderella Castle clock revealed once more from behind that nonsensical bullshit 50th logo. The Disney World you remember is coming back, minus the great movie ride. But maybe we can salvage the rest during our 51st and a half anniversary event, the world's most magical apology. Now through well, for a while, at the Walt Disney World Resort. We're sorry about him. From WDWNT TV, this is Park Center. Join us each week for news and discussion topics from the Disney and Universal theme parks around the world. We cover the stories in a quick, concise, and fun format, and then our panel breaks down and debates some of the biggest issues and what they mean for us, the parks fans. From the latest announcements to openings and delays to scandals and snacks and merchandise and more, we'll cover it all in 90 minutes. Join us live every Sunday night at 9 p.m. Eastern on YouTube at WDWNT TV or watch episodes on demand anytime. You can also subscribe to the audio version of the show on your favorite podcast app. I was just getting ready to eat some of this Kit Kat bar. So uh, you may or may not be aware, especially if you've been in uh, Mitsukoshi in Japan and Epcot, you've seen some weird flavored Kit Kats, right? Well, when you go to Japan, there are even more weird flavored Kit Kats. So we brought back a few. Uh, we're going to try a couple on the show right now. We've got matcha or green tea. Uh, this, this one you can get at Epcot. Uh, it says on the wrapper, let's take it easy today in Japanese. And then you've got... Chocolate orange, orange chocolate. chocolate. Orange, orange. Obviously, because I read kanji. Yeah, we give me, give me a break. I'm gonna eat the chocolate orange. So let's give these a try. I've actually never had the green tea one, so this is new for me. You gotta give it a break. Ooh, I did. Ooh, it's a little melty. A little melty. Why yeah. are they melty? I don't know. Oh wow. Mm. Want the other one? Is it good? Yeah. You wanna try the matcha? Sure. It's very matcha. If you, I think we should own these. Yeah, we had a bag of them. If you like matcha, that is super matcha. That is matcha, man. Mm hmm Is the orange orange chocolate? Yeah. yeah. Um, so, like to, um, to clean your hands after you're eating melty Kit Kats, 
The next Tokyo merchandise I'm going to pull out for y'all are towels. Towels, you may say, why? Towels are a huge deal in Tokyo Disney. There are like entire displays, like an entire wall of display of different towels, mostly hand towels, and here's why. In Japan, there are not paper towels in bathrooms. There are very rarely it's hand dryers in bathrooms. It is bring your own towel. BYOT. So they sell a whole lot of towels that you then carry around with you so that when you use the restroom, you pull the, happens everywhere. You walk into a restroom, ladies are pulling a little washcloth out of their purse to dry their hands after they wash their hands because they don't have paper I'm going to ask the obvious question. Is there toilet paper or do you, There's toilet do you bring paper. a towel for that? There's toilet paper, right. but there are bidets mm -hmm. everywhere. Train stations. Train station bathrooms have bidets. It is very rare that you encounter a public bathroom that the toilets are not bidets. Incredibly rare. Almost everywhere you go, every single toilet is a bidet. Another interesting no, one feature, of those people are so happy. Another interesting <laughs> feature of Tokyo bathrooms, most of them, I would say this is probably like 60 to 70 percent of them, have a little feature that is motion activated. So when you walk into the stall, it starts playing the sound of rushing water as a privacy feature so that other people can't hear you. Oh you man, we need that. that at Epcot to the dude that was in the stall when I was in there at the urinal the other day in the UK bathrooms. You could use that it's, soundtrack. It's I mean, we'd have to crank it up pretty loud. It's, it's pretty mind blowing. I, so it's to cover noise, it's not to like help you go. I don't know. Maybe it is. It, it's referred might... to as a privacy feature. I'm gonna act. I'm gonna put Raspberry Pi in every bathroom in our house and do that. It's pretty great. Jake, that uh, we it's got a weekend cool. project. Uh, so we have some towels to show you. This is sort of like a hand towel size. I may have to steal some of these. And then these are two different 40th, um, more uh, washcloth size. They're very happy characters. The little towels are like eight bucks a piece. So happy, so cute. And then this larger package was around 25. And you got five in here uh, with the different characters. Ooh, Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Daisy, Chip and Dale. Yeah, it's like a little embroidered patch sewn on. Yeah, I would buy all the towels. Oh, and a set. And then, like, these are just the 40th ones. Like, we have others that we got that are non-40th that are, you know, everything. There were little monorail ones and Donald and all kinds of different characters. And, um, and then uh, I'm going to go with this next because for us, this was sort of our related experience that there's this little pouch. And it's like, this is a cute little pouch. It was $8. Um, it's got a little 40th uh, tag on it with these cute little tassels. But we got pouches like these to put the towel in and then put it in your purse so that you weren't like putting a wet yeah. towel in your purse. We got little... Just one more thing to carry around. Just one more thing to carry around, but it keeps your wet they're towel They're already carrying around the... full-size stuffed animals Seriously, as if they're children. There are people carrying around like duffies that are four feet tall. And those four feet tall duffies cost, what are they, like $500? Oh, wow. $500 for like a four foot tall duffy plush that people are literally like... Like dre it's like as they big as they are. They walk around the park all day with it. It's crazy. Like children. I, I, I'm not looking down on it. I just think it's a little bit odd to process in my brain. I like how they put the pictures of the item. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see everything you're getting. Um, next up, I I wanted to buy the socks. I like little socks like this, and they had 40 of socks. So there are six different socks, not six pairs of socks, six different socks that you can mix and match. That you can like mix a, and match socks. Yeah, it was like a whole store of all different brightly colored socks. Dance yeah, makes some mismatched, as a matter of fact. I remember that. A little mismatched. Yeah. yeah. It was over What the in the hell are Pluto. these? Why They're change purses. Do people carry cash a lot there? No. But they're, but they're little change, change purses. purses. So it kind of looks like stitched. <laughs> it does kind of, especially the blue one. Me. Or, um, um, Oh, what's the DJ? Uh, Dead Mouse. It yeah. kind of looks like Dead Mouse. So, is it like a coin purse? It's a coin purse. But your coins can get stuck up in the. Yeah. And then it's got the little chain uh, that so you can like loop it to your purse or whatever. 
But yeah, they came in two different colors, the sort of peach and yellow or the blue and purple to complement. a little 40 on the ear. <laughs> These are so cute. And then we've got a couple of other uh, 40th anniversary. <laughs> It does. Oh, if it were green, long. it would kind of look like the flowers, <laughs> like the Super Mario flowers that come out of the yeah. tubes. Dooby dooby dooby. Oh, see. Uh, oh yeah, is... for sure. Dooby dooby dooby. <laughs> this is another 40th anniversary T-shirt. It says "Dream Go Round" on the front. It's got the castle on the back. Ooh. It's iridescent sparkle. It is iridescent sparkle. There's a lot of sparkle. This is another t-shirt. It's a really weird fabric. It feels very like polyesterish. Like yeah. it's got a chemical on it. Yeah. Well, so um, the front's got Dream Go Round uh, in gold lettering that's kind of ironed on. But then the back has the 40th logo, but this is glow in the dark, right? This is glow in the dark, I think. Is it? I don't, I don't remember. I thought it was. But it's all glittery too. So. But it's kind of like this, it's it's not white, it's like uh, this very light, awful, the though. material feels tie awful, dye. but it's this very pale tie-dye, it's really yeah. pretty. Like, I played for a youth soccer team that was sponsored by a car wash once, and I think that's what our jerseys were made of. <laughs> I don't think, it's printed on, that's what it is. Yeah. It's, it's like, the, 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 the entire shirt. Pattern is printed pattern on the shirt. printed on it. That's what that texture is. All right. So we've got... Even more stuff. Uh, this is a box of, they had trading figures. Um, so there are seven figures. When you bought the whole box, you got one of each. You can see, um, we'll show you the like design on the back. This is actually, this was over $80 for these seven figures. There's Mickey, Minnie, Daisy, Donald, uh, Chippendale, Goofy, and Pluto. Um, and it came, weirdly, it had to be packaged like in a row, so this like wouldn't fit in a locker, and Jason had to walk around with this sticking out of his backpack all day. Um, and then you can see all the probably easier just to show in the back. Individual, yeah, you can see each of the characters. We're not going to open it them. It doesn't up on strike the show. me something that would be easy to pack back up if we were to. No, it. well, and these were purchased for a friend, so. Those are, are they? Oh, those are yours. Yeah, so you could take them out if you want to try. Should we open I one? Think I think they're blind box. They're blind box, but you're Ooh. supposed to get all seven in right. the set, right? Right, but Looks, you could buy them individually. They're, they're are they box. baseballs then or light? They're, they're plastic. They yeah. look like baseballs. Let's, uh, let's open one up and check them out. So again, uh, you could buy these individually as well, but when you bought the box, you were guaranteed to get all seven. It was uh, slice your hand off. like $84 for the whole set. Which feels like a lot. I mean, I guess that's like $12, $14 a piece somewhere in there. Um, which is probably, like, that's just as expensive as the little vinyl matrix. I don't know what they are. Oh, it's a little stand. Yeah. And it has a little stick to literally, like, put up their butt to it's make It's like a gashapon. Up. It's the way gashapons tend to be set up. And then there's, like, the card. You actually slide the card in the slot in the uh, background. Okay, so let's just pretend I'm an idiot. And I don't know what a gashapon is. A gashapon is a trading figure. Oh. So you see, it like, sounds all like the... someone who works in a red light district. Uh, when I heard a gashapon <laughs> <laughs> back when I was in the war. <laughs> like... You um, you can like you can put a couple hundred yen into a machine and turn a knob, and a little plastic container box. spits out with it? a mystery. Yeah, we can open it. We have to open four things to open it. Oh, it's not a baseball. That's just a circle. With yeah, I know. Yeah. But it looks like a baseball, doesn't it? Yeah, I thought it was a baseball. Have you seen my baseball? But they're like, you know what they're kind of like? They look like they're kind of like our park house. They're just like something you set on a stand. They're like how we it's had the, the 50th statues, yeah. the gold. It's kind of like that. Yeah, this is this is very this is typical. Our backdrop. It's like a backdrop. Here's so the this stick goes that goes up your butt. Air. In case you don't have one already. Usually you pay double for that kind of action. <laughs> Would you like a pair of scissors, sir? I'm almost done. Yeah, but that's so good. you take the little, it's like a little cloud. And then the little plastic stick up your butt goes into the cloud. And then Minnie 
goes. It actually goes into her back. Yeah, so it looks like she's flying, basically. Yeah, so like the Mary Pop old Mary Poppins animatronic, right? Yes. It doesn't slide in there easily. We're going to oh, predictably there need are, some there lubricant. There are some jokes here. <laughs> we, this and, is... then, and then you got the little backdrop. You have a backdrop. Eric, please be careful. They're very light. They're they're plastic. But she's cute. They're adorable. She does not have a stick up her butt. No, it's she has in her a back. Stick in her back. So. Um, oh, so um, let's keep going with the sort of gashapon sort of theme. So gashapons are a big deal in Tokyo. There are entire storefronts that are just full of these machines. Like if you were walking out of a grocery store or Kmart or whatever, and there was like, you know, you could put in 50 cents and get a rubber ball or a little plastic capsule that mm -hmm. had a toy in it. That, it's like that, but on steroids. So there are these big capsules. Um, gashapon, I think, actually means capsule in Japanese. And they're random figures. You know, there's a set, uh, and you try to get them all. And so these, they had specific... Oh, I've heard about it. you got to catch them all? got to catch them all. So these were um, the 40th anniversary ones. You actually had to get a virtual queue. There were three different locations in Tokyo Disney. Choco Crunch. This is a, one of the Gashapon items was a 40th anniversary Choco Crunch container. That's a little actual so, you had to get a virtual queue to go to put your money into the Gashapon machine to um, be able to get these. So, and then once you, you go and then you show them your time, you get in line when it's your time. And then when you get up to the machine, you can buy as many of them as you want. Um, but you like, you couldn't just walk up and buy them. Like there, and these, the wait, the virtual queue spots for these Gashapon stores literally were gone within like 10 minutes of the park opening. It was like, it was crazy. It was like Tron or Guardians of the Galaxy, but to be able to buy a To be able trinket. to put like 500 yen into a machine and hopefully get, so this is the, ca it's the castle pillow. You only get to buy one thing? No, you could buy as many as you want. Uh, so we're going to show you in a little bit. This is like a little miniature of they released a pillow of the 40th, uh, the 40th anniversary decorated castle. These are cute. Um, and so that is a little mini figure of what is basically Whoa. this right here. So it's a pillow with fleecy on the bottom of the castle, like floating in a cloud, because dream that's what dream go round. Ah, is. from Les Mis. Indeed. Castle in the clouds. Yep. Mm -hmm. There is a castle in the clouds. Oh my God. I like to go there when I sleep. That's like a, it's a very stiff pillow too. It's like foam. So this is a figure of the 40th anniversary shopping bag. Do we happen to have one of those, Jill? We maybe just happen to have one of those also. So they actually made a trading figure of this shopping bag. Uh, their shopping bags are so superior to ours because they actually close and zip on top. So you can actually take it and zip it. Yep, you can take it and zip it closed on the top. And then the sides have little pouches that you can put additional things. And there's the 40th logo on the sides. But each side. Yeah, it's really cool. She wants to be on, but she doesn't want to be picked up. Lindsay, you had to help me pick her up. Oh, I got her. These are amazing. She's like pawing at my feet to be on the air, but doesn't want to let me pick her up until she has no choice. And then our last Gashapon, there were four in the set. So these are Tom's, he got all of them. Uh, the last Gashapon is the 40th Ooh. anniversary ears. And those happen to be right here. So these are the 40th ears. They've got the little rainbow bow. They say 40 on the back of the ear. And then it says dream go round stitched down the side. Here's the most mind blowing thing about mouse ears in Tokyo. 
They cost, they're made from real mice. They cost fifteen dollars. <laughs> it's half what you pay here for a pair of ears. Fifteen dollars. So friends go to the park and everybody buys the same pair of ears and they all walk around in the same pair of ears together. They're they only $15. also fantastically they make some matching sets of like the same ears so you might get like a silver sequin set of ears and one has a bow and the other doesn't so a guy and a girl can buy Mickey and Minnie ears and match we never sell ears that don't have a bow they sell ears with no bow and then you can walk around in a matching pair of ears it's fantastic it's genius I don't know why we don't do that why don't we have those here and then there was also a second pair of 40th anniversary ears that have that nice sort of rosy goldy kind of color with all the little tie dye kind of effects. Uh, these don't have a lot of 40th sort of flair to them other than it's got a little tag, but they're very pretty. They're like our rose gold ears, but like they have a lot more depth to them. <sighs> do we need to take another break for the home stretch? Maybe I'll, let me do. show off what our, our viewer prize is. Oh, make. yeah. Um, when you stay, at a uh, Tokyo Disney Resort hotel, you are given slippers. You are? They are different colors based on what hotel you stayed yep. in. These are gold. Uh, the Mickey figure is gold, which means they're from the Tokyo Disneyland, Disneyland Hotel. Yep. Uh, so. Because we have a pair of blue ones that are from the ambassador. Look at him in his little dapper Dan hat. So those are not just any. Mickey slippers. Those are Mickey slippers right from the Tokyo Disneyland from the fanciest hotel. hotel. From the fanciest hotel. Oh, no, let's... It's um, not. It's not? Miracosta is the fanciest. Oh, Miracosta. I forgot about Miracosta. But we did. They have a 40th anniversary room in the Tokyo Disneyland Hotel. I believe we posted a review we of have it. A, we have a room tour of it. Tom got to stay on? there. There's no red light. Okay. Tom got to stay in the uh, 40th anniversary room, so we thought we'd show off the special room key you get when you stay in the 40th anniversary room. It comes with this, uh, again, dream garland. You will see a, a recurring theme of dream garland, and when you open it up, your room key is inside. And you only get this if you stay in the 40th anniversary room. Which is, I think, where these slippers are from. Oh. Uh, so you'll get a chance to win these. Uh, we'll give them away to a viewer. I will tell you how later. You can see the little iridescent, like the whole thing is iridescent. Yeah. They, uh, they go all out. All right, so we'll take another little break. We'll take another little break to reset, clear all this crap off the counters. We have a lot of stuff going on. Dig out a little bit. Yeah. Throw some of this stuff out in the backyard or wherever to make room. Is it like, are they like E.T. Uh, Nintendo cartridges that there's just going to be a yeah. big bat ditch? A speak and spell yeah. is going to be hooked up to a satellite dish. Yeah. Be, yeah. Get yeah. us out of here. All right, we'll be back shortly with more Tokyo merchandise. Celebrate the magic with the Disney 100 Years of Wonder Collection, an exciting line of merchandise and collectibles. Already have everything? We can help with that. Disney Consumer Products is proud to present the official Make Your Own Disney 100 Product Generator. With the Disney 100 Product Generator, you can turn anything you own into an officially licensed Disney collectible. Those sneakers you haven't worn in 10 years but won't throw away? Now it's part of the Disney 100 line. Did you find an explicit photo laying around a Disney Resort property? Don't be offended. Now it's a licensed keepsake. Ooh. But wait, there's more. Now you can head over to Ollie's Bargain Outlet and buy tons of Magic Kingdom 50 merchandise. And now it's also part of the 100 line. Did you assault a cast member and end up in one of those pesky police reports? Now it's a permanent keepsake you'll treasure for years. Don't celebrate Timmy's birthday by giving him boring mouse ears. Now Timmy is an officially licensed Disney collectible. Get the Disney 100 product generator for only $79.99, exclusively at Target. Welcome to News Today with Universal Parks News Today. I'm Tom Corliss. Here now the news.
we're back. That was a fun journey. Uh, Jill, I want to have a little brief intermission. I think that's a great idea. I feel idea. like we need something that's local, something that's Disney World merchandise, Let's and something do it. involves like drinking. Uh, that makes total sense on every level. So we do have one non-Tokyo 40th anniversary piece of merchandise that we're going to open for you tonight. And that is a Trader Sam's Tiki mug from our very own Trader Sam's Grotto, Grotto. Grotto right here at Walt Disney World Resort at the Polynesian. This is a special, uh, basically this was first part edition. of the first edition, part halfway of, kind of the halfway to Halloween stuff that they've been doing for the last few weeks. At Trader Sam's, uh, just last week, they... First edition with a bullet. With a bullet? Which is, there's been two others of this same one, but they were in California, so they're the so first and second count. edition there. This is the first one for Grog Grotto. Yay! He's so good. I know, he's really good. He's so good. So it says Trader Sam's Grog Grotto. It says first edition on the bottom. Uh, he just came out last week, so we grabbed one. Uh, we, I'm sure between all of us, Jason we grabbed a few. Yeah. Uh, he's got the, this is he's, the best part. he's a tiki version of the um, the gargoyle statues that sits uh, in the stretching room at the haunted mansion. I'm not gonna. No, pull them out. You can put them back in. They're reusable. Oh. So they have the little battery tabs. You pull them out. Oh, it lights up. yours. Oh, it was lit up. There we go. Look at that. Look how cool. Because when you go to Trader Sam's, you're probably going to get lit. Boy, that's already bad. All right. Not as bad as my jokes. Anyway, there you go. <laughs> Eric is uh, fired tonight. For yes. the uh, low, low price of $80. Wow. That's more expensive. They're usually like $65, aren't they? $55. They're, but uh, these light up. He does have like additional pieces. Well, that light up. sometimes lights up. They sometimes light up. There he is, our very own gargoyle. Buddy. Put these back in to save the battery because there is no on-off switch no on for off. these lights. There's just a little. Because they were built by the lowest bidder, I assume. And they were still eighty dollars. <laughs> All that savings direct to you. But lucky for us, you get the worst cocktail you've ever had. Was it bad? Is included, of course. I mean, I know they're always All bad, of the mug release cocktails are bad. I would like it. I liked the last one. Nobody else did, but I did. I remember the Jungle Cruise one was terrible. Uh, uh, I think they've got to go up and down. Yeah, but there's more to it than... So uh, we'll, uh, we'll repackage. This is not a reboxing show. This is an unboxing yeah. show. So uh, let's keep unboxing. So I'm, I'm afraid... By the way, one of our comments on our last show was like, this is the worst unboxing show I've ever seen. I was like... The joke is that it's not really an unboxing yeah. show. It's just, we just oh, like to show on. you merchandise. Oh, look at Super chat. You all rock. Love seeing all the merch. But the tiki mug is $80. Love it, but that's a lot. That it is, is a lot. lot. It is a, a lot. lot for a mug. Thank you, D. Hughes. All right. Repackaged properly. Here you so go. Uh, next up, we're going to flip back to some Tokyo Disney stuff. Um, first up, I'm going to show off these things that are kind of bizarre. They're magic tricks. This one is like a disappearing coin trick, and this one is like a disappearing, like you break a pencil and then you put it back together trick. You can kind do of. Do they have a magic shop there, like on Main Street, like at Disneyland? They do. Like where? So someone asked in the chat if I hate Tokyo Disneyland. Absolutely not. I'm dying to go there one day. Next um, year. I would not buy. I would have. I buy like two or three trinkets. So that's how I am. I'm not a. I, I could go with I, one suitcase. All oh, right, and we don't oh, know Oh, Lee's why. there to help me buy the yeah. rest. I see. Yeah, you only buy one or two. I buy the rest. And there's also a deck of cards, which supposedly were with, they were with all the other magic stuff, so we think they're a deck of cards intended to do magic tricks with, but there's not actually anything uh, um well, magicians Basically, use decks of cards that right. aren't actually special. Some of them actually use real decks There's of cards. There's nothing noticeably magical about these cards other than their... It sounds like you're actually setting up a magic trick. <laughs> Eric, as you can see plainly here, there is nothing special about this deck of cards. I wish I had those kinds <laughs> of skills. A Rebus Brothers, that, now you have my attention. So uh, we've got some more Rebus Brothers stuff. So yeah, there is... Um, yeah. It's Tom's, don't break it. There were... No there were Arebus Brothers the stores. There's one in Disneyland. There's one in Disney Ooh. Sea. It's a champagne glass. A champagne flute. That's got the actual anniversary date, April 15th, Dated engraved. Two hands, people. Two hands. Yeah. 
How many million yen worth it doesn't say? Their stuff wasn't super expensive. I mean, that glass could, wasn't more than $50, I guarantee you. Um, other Arribas Brothers uh, I things. have however many people are watching, witnesses that I repacked this exactly how it was put the tape carefully. I put the tape back on it. This is an Arribas Brothers pin. So these are real crystals. This was like an $80 pin Ooh, to make pretty. up for how cheap all the other pins were. But it is a... Uh, you, can, you know what? $80, that's ridiculous. You could buy a mug for that. You could buy a whole <laughs> Tiki mug for that. Are these Swarovskis? Are they Swarovski? Ooh. I don't know. Okay, Probably this for is pretty darn cool. Ooh. This is the, uh, the key. We're going to pull this guy out because he's really pretty. So then Arribas made the key for the anniversary. Ooh, what if we rekeyed our front door to use keys like this? <laughs> like I mean, big, fancy. Don't lose them. There's a market for that, right? Don't lose like, them. Like, if you lived in Golden Oak, you, you just, like, lay that on the table while you're at the bar, like, to flex a little bit. Like, oh, my. This is my house key. You put, you tether that to your, the keys to your MyBach. And you Robin put in, like, Lopez, yeah. if you're watching, you owe us uh, yeah, royalties if idea. you steal this idea. Uh, so those were uh, Arribas. There was a bunch of other really nice Arribas Brothers stuff, and a lot of it was not. Uh, this came in a fancy little Arribas box, um, but a lot of it was not terribly expensive. Oops. I only dropped the outside box, I swear. All it was was uh, this. Oh, and one last. Uh, there's also a Arribas oh. Brothers tiara. Oh, uh, Lee is laughing and cheering. Yay! I don't know if we can, I don't know if we can adequately get this out of the bag. You might have to split the plastic. Uh, this was like... Over a hundred dollars for this, uh, one of the more expensive items we've it shown you metal. so far. It's not plastic, but you got your Mickey head. I can't even tell what it is. Mickey heads. I thought it was the yeah, coach. No, I thought it was a carriage Mickey for a second. with the hat, and then there's the castle with the forty and dream go round. Oh, you can't see it. There you go. Dream go round, and then there's Minnie with her hat on it. Very nice. Lee's very excited too. Definitely return this to Tom. Tom's definitely getting this back, we swear. Definitely. Um, On to other drinkware. There were some uh, different 40th anniversary uh, cups and glasses that we also picked up. So this is a cute little one. Uh, it's got its own sort of lid slash coaster that comes along with it. But is it corksicle? The coaster is, is a lid corksicle. and the lid is a coaster. Indeed. <gasps> Fancy. That's like those, what were those things called? The Stroop waffles, where it's designed to it's, fit on top of your cup yeah. of coffee to yeah, warm it up. Like a, it's literally like a coaster, like ceramic. That's beautiful. I'm not a big, I will say this. Oh, that's cool. I think there's some cool merchandise. I'm not a huge fan of these like muted pastel. I don't, uh, the color oh, scheme like they chose is, it's very feminine, which is fine. I'm just saying there's not, that doesn't leave a whole lot of room for someone like me. Isn't that so cool? That is cool. So this is like a, it's um, plastic. It's a like travel coffee cup with a, um, a silicone lid. So it's nice and swishable, cleanable. Uh, it's got this super cool sort of dream garlandy kind of vibe on the front of it that I really like. I think looks really it cool. It almost gives contemporary vibes. Yeah. We also have, this is another, you had to buy the food to be able to buy the item. So you had to buy some weird special oh. drink, I think, at Pizza. Uh, uh, a super chat? This was from uh, oh, time for Pizza Port, right? Time for second launch. Pretty cool. It says $10. Yeah. Oh, oh, thank you so much. We've got a launch coming. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you, Andy. It. SpaceX. It's, it's, a, it's a Falcon Heavy, isn't Falcon it? Falcon Heavy. Heavy's tonight? I thought yeah. it was at 730. There's, there's two. This is the oh. second one. But I don't know if it's going to be too... What could go wrong? Wendy, is it too cloudy to see it from over here? I don't know what the sky's like. I haven't been outside. We'll take the remote camera out there in a minute. What time is Um, it? Jake, I just sent you a picture of the current state of Poppy, in case anyone's asking. In case anyone wonders about the current state of Poppy. Poppy. She's literally right down. That What you're seeing is practically live. There it is. (laughs) She's like, are you done with this 40th merchandise? The sad part is, no, we're not. We're not even close, Poppy. Uh, In the vein of you had to buy the food to get the merch. This was another, uh, you bought food, and then you got this plate set for like $16 for both plates, which I thought was, you know, they're plastic, but they've got the, the date on them. See, I like this color scheme because yeah. it incorporates their color scheme, but mostly in a more plain, right? It's but white. It's, yeah. It looks a little bit more um, neutral, 
but it still has that logo. Yeah, I like it's that. It's got like a texture. It's or it's a, it's not just round. I don't know if it's dishwasher safe because I don't know Japanese for dishwasher safe. No, they don't even have pictures. No, Probably not microwave. Pictures to tell you. Uh, Definitely not microwave. More. Safe. You had to buy the food to get the item. This was a mug you could buy when you ordered some weird sort of Jello sort of dessert from um, is Sweetheart's that one going Cafe. Out to the I don't know. I mean, I don't know what time Lee wants to see the the launch. Should we have Lee take the rem the the remote camera out there? Oh, we could potentially show people the launch. I mean, she won't be able to frame it. So you've got this cute little mug that you got if you bought this weird little Jello dessert, oh, and so then nice. you could also get this hey, little Jake, plates if send you me bought. Send a VMix code, and I'll just VMix on my a, phone. Um, if you bought, there was like a cream puff kind of thing. Five minutes? Oh, we've got five minutes. Yeah, five minutes. I don't think we're tearing through all this merch in five minutes. No, but we could take a. But we'll take a we'll, we'll take, take a breather. We'll take a launch break. Take a launch break. We'll a launch break. I can't tell. It might be too cloudy. Ooh. Got a water bottle holder. Ooh, I like that. Handy. But this one doesn't come with like a shoulder strap, right? This is no. It. That's what you get. Yeah. Uh, there's also like a souvenir spoon. This was, was another you had to buy. You had to eat at Crystal Palace. You had to eat at Crystal Palace. Uh, if you ate at Crystal Palace, you could buy this spoon. There's definitely a lot of weird, you have to buy food or eat there in order to buy it. That's a very detailed little spoon. It's even got the little Mickey head on the top. Uh, next up, we're going to show you some of the plush badges. So as Eric was mentioning, there are plush badges are a thing. They're basically little tiny plush that have little sort of keychains on them that you can attach to your bags or whatever. Uh, these are the Mickey and Minnie 40th anniversary set. They've got little dream go round tags. And so you can attach them to your bag. They have pins on the How's back that? that you can pin to a shirt or other clothing or to the front of a bag. We would walk around and see what they do in Tokyo is people sort of pick a character that's their character. And then um, they buy like all the badges of that character. So you might see somebody with like 50 different mini badges hanging from their bag. But it's Japan, so the only characters they have are Stitch, Baymax, and Duffy. No, we saw people with Alice in Wonderland. Uh, of course, there's a ton of Duffy. There's Mickey, there's Minnie, there's Goofy, there's Chip and Dale. Uh, there were a lot. And then these are um, the dream go round ones. We've got Mickey in his, uh, or Harmony in Color, Mickey in his Harmony in Color costume, and Goofy in his Harmony in Color costume. So these were specific 40th anniversary. What time ones is the launch, well. Jake? 8.25? About a minute and a half of those. Yeah, and specific time. yeah. They've got little 40s yeah, on the 90 bottom seconds. of their feet. 90 seconds. I don't know if you can see okay. that so well from here. I'll go out there. You don't have to cut to my camera unless we see something. I'll go ahead in the yard, though. We're going to determine if we can actually see the launch from here, and we'll show you guys the launch. Jill, talk them through it. Talk them through what? Whatever you got. Whatever I got? All right, we got some more uh, merchandise here. This is another you had to buy the food to get the glass. This uh, you could buy at uh, Teddy Roosevelt's, which is the bar on the... Uh, USS Columbia that's in American mm -hmm. Waterfront and then you could also get this at Magellan's um, which is back by um, uh, it's in C right but what, what's the land it's back by where Journey to the Center of the Earth is and the it's volcano the so you can kind of see one side has the 40th logo with the castle and then the other side has Mickey and Minnie we're back we're on hold we're on hold we're on is the launch on hold yes we don't have a launch quite yet to bring you. Do we ever figure out what this is? Is this like an iPad case? case yeah. We've got this <sighs> cute tablet case. I went all the way case. out into the backyard with a hole in my leg for no launch. I mean, that tends Ooh, to be cute. what happens. Wendy, tell them to get it together, please. <laughs> so that's like an iPad or tablet case. It's got a really cute lining inside where you can put little like pens and pencils and goodies. Oh, yeah, that's cute. That'd be a good travel bag. Ooh, this is a fancy one. This is one of the more pricey items that were released for the 40th anniversary. Not as much as that tiara. Not as much as the tiara, but close to as much as the tiara, yeah, wasn't it? Not even close. Really? Oh, no, this is only like 80 bucks. That's not bad. 
Uh, they released a 40th anniversary oh, watch. In a nice box. This is as much as the Tiki mug is 80 basically. Bucks. 80 bucks. It's scrubbed. Um, it's scrubbed. It's scrubbed. Launch is scrubbed. Oh, launch is scrubbed. <laughs> Hanging up VMAX. We'll see Wendy back in a few minutes, most likely. Um, they do not have magic bands in Tokyo, though, I guess. Correct. Correct. Is it because they have figured out how to embed no, it's because a chip they in only your... No, sell one-day tickets. Yeah. Oh. You can only buy one-day tickets right now. You can't buy, like, a three-day... Well, wait, the passes to get in are only, like, $71 or something. Correct. Yeah. But you can only buy one-day tickets. You cannot buy annual passes. You cannot buy multi-day tickets. We looked at tickets when Jason, Tom, and I are going to, you know, up to Kansas City. And there's a theme park there called Worlds of Fun, which is owned by Cedar Fair, which actually, it was a pretty good theme park when I was a kid, but Cedar Fair kind of turned into one of their crappy theme parks. And um, it's like $49. I was like, That's it's the $100 theme park ever. cheaper than the Magic Kingdom. Yeah, right. Uh, and yet? Annual pass is like 95 bucks. Yeah. Uh, this is a parade mat, Eric. Are you familiar with Tokyo parade mats? You stake out a spot for a parade and you yeah. throw your stupid parade mat down and then you scowl. You, you it. sound like you hate Tokyo. No, no, no. Yeah. I hate the cult, the, the parade mob culture. I hate I hate lining up in crowds for. You haven't been people. to Tokyo to do it their way though. It's so cute. Would you want to sit on that? I would like write your name. I mean, don't doesn't everybody have the same parade mat? How can you tell who's who's? You, you know. You just know. Well, so everybody has different, like, because this is the 40th, but there have been many other parade mats, so people have different parade mats. I'm just going to confess. I, the idea of, of a parade that's so good that I would stand in line for hours and hours on end is impossible for me to find. That, that's so good. That's why you have Spencer. So good. <laughs> that's why you get a Spencer. Okay. That is that makes sense. Spencer's highest and best use. I mean, essentially, <laughs> you're, you're spending a bunch of time to walk, watch people walk by. We love you, Spencer. Uh, so, Parade Mat, uh, those are kind of fun. I experienced the value. So, they watch all their parades sitting down, though. Like I like that. I like that everybody everyone just sits, sits down. You just sit. Uh, this is, oh, they released, that is weirdly, Coca -Cola. a 40th anniversary Coke bottle, which everyone had to have for some strange reason. It caused, like, more of a frenzy than I may have expected a Coke bottle to cause. I feel like Coke collecting is a thing of yesteryear. Oh, I shouldn't say that loudly in yeah. case Tom's dad is watching. People buying a lot of Coke was more of an 80s thing. Yeah, right? <laughs> All right, I feel like we're coming, uh, we're home we're stretch, slowly, folks. we're home we're stretch. We're going to get there together. I think we're home stretch. This is just the 40th step. Is this, will this be the longest episode of Boxing Day ever? It might be. Probably. Look. A dream garland thing to put on your desk. So every no, no, no. Cast every one. cast member, and so on the anniversary, like you'd walk around and everybody was waving their little flag. It's oh, adorable. that was like a little desk flag. I mean, you can put it on your desk too, but people walk around the parks waving these. And then a little Italian plumber jumps out of nowhere and slides <laughs> all the way down the flagpole. Crossover IP. I mean, we've got we've got plenty of it. Ooh, is that the one you bought me? This is the hat we got you. Mm -hmm. This is the 40th anniversary, one of the two 40th anniversary baseball caps they issued. Uh, it's got the castle and dream go round and kind of that rosy gold, but then it's got all the characters around the outside. It's so cute. All it's like weather. such a well, in, well done hat. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes less is more. Sometimes less is more. There's a lot going on there. Like people are going to stare at you and you're going to feel weird because everyone's like looking at all the characters on your hat. Nope. Now, They're jealous. A lot of people don't know this. Elton John, big Tokyo Disney freak. So these are a big thing in Tokyo, right? These in Disney, these mouse ear glasses. I remember when the mouse was young. <laughs> Here you go. So these are the 40th yes, anniversary I version. Monitor. Because they're, yeah. <laughs> they've got that like peachy gold kind of vibe, but like you could buy regular pairs too, and like lots of people walk around wearing. You'd be surprised at how many people actually wear these in the park. It's kind of crazy. Really, like I think it's also part of the fifth key of inclusion because no matter where you have eyes on your head, yeah, you got eyes in your forehead or something. They are they are accepting covered. of people with eyes everywhere. 
Uh, this is the second baseball cap. I think not as good, to be honest, in my opinion. It's got the dream. I like, I like the more plain, colors. the better for me. That's and then it's got the castle and kind of multicolors on the back. It is I pretty. Like I just, I like the black one better. I kind of like the one. Oh, no, the bucket hat. Let me see it. You got to put it on. So this bucket hat pretty much sold out. Um, I saw a thousand people wearing this bucket hat in the parks. I can't really put it on because my head's too big, so it kind of sits on top of my head. Um, I mean, I guess I can pull it down. No, but that's cool. I like that. But it's super but cute. Here's it's the thing. Here's ears. the weird thing, though. It kind of looks like on a hot day you might have sweated through it and you haven't yet. Yeah, because it's or got this sort it, of like tie-dye. Because it has a sort kind of, of a tie-dye finish. Yeah. But or maybe it camouflages all your sweat that you've sweated through your hat. No. It's cute. Please look at me like I'm just a total madman. What is wrong with I you? I mean, sir? kind of. She's not wrong. Uh, this is a 40th anniversary pressed penny or souvenir medallion. Is that what they call them? Souvenir medallion holder. So do we not have books for all of our pressed pennies and medallions? We do. We do. Okay. I've you can buy. You can definitely buy pressed penny books here too. Mm -hmm. This not is just. Not but I mean, do they identify what you're missing? Are they no, like, this one doesn't this either. Is, okay. This one doesn't either. Um, and of course, needless to say, there were a ton of 40th anniversary medallions. If you guys really want, maybe Jason can show them off to you on a post show somewhere because he has an entire collection. He basically filled up an entire one of these books with so 40th anniversary little, press pennies. Each of the little you could do like a Wigs exclusive video of the press pennies. Yeah. We could call it like materially Disney or something. Yeah. Jason is just off here in the wings shouting. Yeah. <laughs> Disruptive comments. Uh, these were a set of postcards. There's kind of Poppy, nothing. Please have that man removed. There's kind of nothing really more special that they're just two souvenir postcards in plastic. They were like five bucks. You could also buy this random other separate postcard. Oh, this was specifically this one specifically is from the Tokyo Disney Celebration Hotel. Uh, it's got the Celebration Hotel on the bottom on the back. Um, since I'm asking this you, Rams, let's ask you random questions. Um, best bar? Teddy Roosevelt's was fantastic. Are there any other ones? Uh, good? We didn't really go to a lot of bars. Not in, on property. There aren't bars oh, wow. in Disneyland. And Teddy Roosevelt's the only one in C, right? Is it in C or in a miracle? Like, you can... Bar we didn't go... No, uh, Teddy Roosevelt's is in C. It's in the park. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah, I don't, Magellan's might have a bar. What about in the, in the hotels? I don't. Uh, we didn't go to, there are bars in the hotels. We just didn't go to any of Did them. Did you go to that sushi place in a subway station? We went to a the, standing three sushi Michelin bar? three stars? Uh, from Jiro Loves yeah, Sushi? Yeah, Jiro Loves Sushi. No, no, but we did go to an amazing standing sushi restaurant that was like a block and a half away from the, from the Shinjuku train station. Best sushi I ever had for like 20 bucks a person. I mean, we got like 15 pieces of sushi per person and it was like 20 bucks per person. It was amazing. So if you ever go to Tokyo and you want a good, uh, cheap sushi restaurant, I mean, it is literally like some of the best sushi I've ever had and also some of the cheapest sushi I've ever had. I want to know, do they have restaurants like in the regular cities, not, not at Disney, but like where they think it, they act like it's an American themed restaurant. You know what I mean? Like, like oh, it's Lasso. called American Pie. I mean, like, yeah, like a Ted like, Lasso where they're in uh, They have in like England. a Red Lobster in Xperi. No, no, I mean something that is like, someone has intentionally themed a restaurant. Not a chain, uh -huh. American chain came in, but they're like, no. oh yeah, they, this American Yankee restaurant. And they're like wearing cowboy I hats. Don't, we and, didn't go to any of those. We went to Japanese restaurants. We didn't. Try. I think it'd be hilarious. I'll bet they have them. Oh, I think it was. Like in Ted Lasso. There's so many things to yeah. do in Tokyo that like you will never run out of things to go investigate and do they have this like there's just so many things my shin is so swollen oh you are very you're looking a, you're gonna you're gonna be bruised i gotta I re-ice it, it i might be broken could you're be gonna broken. be pretty be cracked you're gonna be pretty black and blue cracked. tomorrow is what i think could be cracked be but you know what like i can't soup up like if you go to the if i went to the doctor you could soup your up. insurance company is going to be like the first question is going to be like whose property were you on when you got injured i'm gonna be like i was a public called subrogation but the thing is, it wasn't like some guy at Publix had just mopped the floor and it didn't put a matter. sign out. I dropped salsa in front matter. of myself doesn't matter. and made myself fall. You, you still could 
try to sue if you wanted to. I'm not saying you should, and I'm not saying no. I advocate it, but you can still try to sue. If you I want mean, to. all in all, honestly, I got off pretty easy. Yeah. They they could have comp the salsa. They, salsa. That's all I'm saying. They could have comp the shame. <laughs> the shame was free. The shame. No, yeah, I think no. I if I check the receipt, there's like a line item for it. Shame. <laughs> Four dollars. There's a surcharge. All right, we got our last little pile of merch right here. We're going to blow through it and then wrap up with our giveaway for the evening. So this is a notebook. It's just a blank notebook. Um, weirdly, that was like twelve dollars for no apparent reason. It's heavy. Yeah, they're it's super very into heavy, stationary though. stuff. Yeah. Uh, they uh, totally are. I mean, we had the tape. Did you get file there. folders? Uh, we did not get them, but they did exist. There were forty. That was a whole segment on folders. Tom's show that he designed a thing to compete with box dead. Remember that? Yeah. Tom's Tokyo Hall. Yeah. And it was, it's file folder time. Uh, those are cute pens that have clicky pens that have all the characters on them. Is there a Pluto one? Yes. Oh, it's missing. What happened to it? <laughs> We've got this. Lee is, was holding it in the Pluto um, pen. It's like a weird little, like, it's basically a, a, a gift, gift bag? bag with um, little sort of paper dream garland inside. So if you're like oh. decorating for a party, there's cute little dream garland. Again, that's like $12. Some of the stuff is like weirdly expensive for what it is, and then other stuff is ridiculously cheap. How much was like the Blanton's Black that you had it? I want to say it was $12 for it. It was like $12 for a double of Blanton's Black. It was not a lot. The whiskey was cheap. Um, this is like a sort of fake Alex You're really Antani working hard to sell ring. me on going to Japan. This was like $32, uh, so cheaper than an Alex and Ani, but also I think not quite, it probably as well made. We would just go sit in Teddy Roosevelt's all day. We would no. walk around, eat I'm not going popcorn. to the best theme park in the world and sitting in the bar all day. I'll, it'll be on my, my like fourth day of being in there. You park. might want to. Yeah. I'm just saying. Uh, there was a 40th anniversary CD. Jason decided he needs to start collecting um, Tokyo CD soundtrack CDs. So that was one to add to his collection. I guess the music's good. I liked it. Uh, by the way, the, uh, the parade, what's it called? Harmony and Color. Harmony and Color. Harmony and Color, we have a uh, DPA Premier Access angle of mm -hmm. that parade. Mm -hmm. That video is going to be dropping tomorrow morning. So, oh, right, right, uh, right. You'll see it uh, on our main channel. Yeah. Not here on the we Junior Varsity one. channel, but like way up there with the, the big, good, the, the, big shots. the good channel. Yeah. We have one from the opening, uh, the opening yeah. day of the parade, which was the day after uh, yeah. Uh, dreaming up clothes, but then this is the sort of full blown from like really good seats. Uh, this is a little folding shopping bag. Tokyo is famous for these, where um, basically you can unfold your little shopping bag into a pouch. We had some Disney World ones of those. Yep. So it's got the little, the cute green little green garland, Pluto trot along. Little fortieth pouch. Peter Pan. Who's green? Hold on. Goofy. Goofy. Oh, Goofy's, Goofy's wearing green. green. Okay. Yep. Uh, this is another, you had to buy the food to get the thing. So this is a lunch box. It's really cute. Um, we had to buy the, hot dogs for hold these. Hold on. Terrible hot dogs. We had to At buy a terrible hot stupid, dog. How do you know that something is buy food if you don't speak Japanese? That something is like Well, these are only food. available in the restaurants. Okay, and there's and like a little picture. It's pretty like, clear. If you buy food, you get something. It's pretty clear right. that you, and it's a specific food. It's not just any food. So we had to buy, there was a 40th anniversary hot dog that had Terrible. like, it had like. I want him to do it. that here. I yeah. want the I want the dilemma in Tom's mind when he like sees that there's something really cool at Tony, but you have to buy the Tony's chicken parmesan. He would do it. He or just wouldn't the, eat it if he didn't want it. You have to eat at Pizza Rizzo. Like this hot dog was the worst because it wasn't really a hot dog. It was more like a smoked, smoked sausage. sausage. Yeah. And then it had brisket. Slivers of beef brisket on top. Yeah. Can I tell you a funny story? I know we're wrapping up, but it just occurred to me. At this conference, I met this very, very nice couple, and they are foodies. They're like, they've eaten it. All, you know, she's a chef, all this stuff. Um, they're like, we came to Disney, and the guy's like, I had the best steak of my life at Disney World. I was like, really? He's like, yeah. I was like, where were you? He's like, Victoria and Elvis? Mama Melrose. <laughs> oh, no. Where are they from? Like, they don't even have steak there. Yeah, they do. Where, where are they from? That, that's good I'm not going to say, but it's a state that's in between Mississippi and Georgia. Okay. All right. Uh, this is a candy case. They win this a lot of another. football games there. 
This is another, you have to buy, the, buy food to be able to buy this. I forget what we had to buy for this. No, but it came with candy, but oh. no, you had to buy a food item. I forget what the food I, item was. I, I have to interrupt you, though. I have to now go to Mama Melrose and get a steak because I've never had it. You have fun with that, I dude. Mama Lee likes Mama Melrose. I mean, we trash Mama Melrose as an organization. I have never had a full meal there. I had the full and steak in like an Italian the place is, is not bad sometimes. I did, the review of the, the did you have steak? Did you have the steak? I don't think so. Maybe it's really good. Maybe we've been. Oh no, this thing. I love this. This is awesome. If you want, this is the most overpriced souvenir I think there is. Twenty bucks. I think it's really cool for twenty bucks. Though I mean, compared to a Disney balloon for eighteen dollars, I'd rather have this. You could just sit all day and do that. You turn upside down, it works too. So, I, I don't even know what around, they call this thing. Turn it upside down. But yeah, it's. Um, it's a jolly fish. And it is, in fact, like $20. It's slightly more than $20, in fact. I, I, this is actually one of my favorite things. That's not as good. No, that's Here, let me play with that. I think this is cool. Now, is it, it, are these components all. Did these. No, the $20. It's a little overpriced. But I think it's pretty mesmerizing. Clearly. It's like a right it's now. like a this fidget spinner. Right? We're gonna leave this with you, Lee, Yay! so that when when Eric needs to just kind of be like, no, just go sit over there. Uh, be a good boy, Eric. You want your toy? It also looks like a bubble. It's like a bubble wand. How much do those stupid bubble wands at Disney World cost? Probably twenty bucks. Yeah, but they come with bubbles. Who's, Who's bubbles? Who's, Who's a good bull? Such a bull. Who's a good bull? I like it. I Can like we, it. Should we open it? Yeah, it's a these? cheap. It's cheap, but I like it. All right, and our very last. This is our very oh, last nice. piece of merchandise. Oh, well, we can show off. There's a couple That's little things we can show off, but these are the monorail tickets. So in Tokyo, you have to pay to ride the monorail because it's basically a train. But if you buy a one-day pass or longer, you can buy up to a three-day pass for the monorail. You get an actual like sort of laminated ticket, and they had special 40th anniversary ones. So these are the two 40th anniversary monorail tickets you could get. Yes. Who wrote Have a Nice Day on your Dream Garland? A cast member. So they also had Dream Garland stickers that cast members would give out. And then we, they also did this cool thing where they would give you this little pamphlet and then these are sort of all perforated, detachable little Dream Garland shaped pennants. And you could tear these off and give them to cast members who gave you great service. That's oh, an amazing that's idea. Nice. Right? Isn't it sweet? And you can be like, hey, cast member, you are awesome. It's not Thank only you. very sweet. Very kind. It's also very kind. kind. All right. And our very last piece of Tomica. merchandise is, of course, the Tomica. Uh, so. There are Tomikas of all different kinds of transportation vehicles and, um, and ride vehicles, but this is the 40th anniversary bus. Look at those bling bling rims. It's pretty bling. So let me just uh, qualify this by saying there, nowhere did we actually see a bus that was wrapped like this, <laughs> but it's still really, really cute. Oh, and it's metal. It's, it's like hefty. A, it's die cast. Yeah. yeah. It's like a metal. And the Tomikas are 12 bucks a pop which is pretty standard price for all of the different Tomicas they had. And that, I think, wraps up all of our Tokyo 40th merchandise. So stay tuned for next week when we bring you all of the Tokyo non-40th merchandise because we also bought a lot of other stuff in the park. I, ha I have a dilemma. That is not 40th anniversary. Um, we also have... Animal Kingdom 25th anniversary. Oh, we do. The remainder of the Tokyo merchandise, which is actually larger than this collection of stuff. It might that be. We unlocked today. And, and well, that might be two episodes. And we have this, the, uh, the Disney Cruise Line 25th merchandise. Which will be Because Tom is leaving back. for that voyage yeah. on Monday. Yeah. Yeah, Eric. guess what? Guess who gets to host the frickin' news again? I hope you, hope you like me reading off a teleprompter. I'll help you out, Eric. If All you right. want some help, I'll I got glasses. Out. It should help. Yeah. I got glasses today. So. Uh, so yeah, so there's all of our Tokyo 40th anniversary merchandise. Uh, next time we'll come back with other merchandise. As Eric said, we're going to have Animal Kingdom 25th merchandise to show you. We have more Tokyo Disney Resort merchandise that's not 40th anniversary to show you. 
Uh, we have, and then we actually have, we have a whole, we can separate it out. We can bring you the Tokyo Disney Resort merchandise that's not 40th anniversary. And then we also went to a number of different Disney stores around Japan. So we went to one in Shinjuku. That's the flagship store in Japan. It was celebrating its first anniversary. We went to the Shibuya Disney store, which is the first Disney store in Japan celebrating its 30th anniversary. We went to the D Disney store in Kyoto. So we have merchandise from all those places, too, that we will um, bring you on an upcoming episode. Lee wants me to model my glasses. There are two options. Let's see you model your glasses, Eric. These are my, like, working on a computer short your, vision Your nearsighted glasses. glasses. Superman. <laughs> I just still don't see very well through them. I see I have a little bit of double vision. Yeah. Well, when you put them on, I mean, like, right away when you put them on, it takes your and eyes then these are my... to adjust. Distance glasses, I guess. These are the ones that are actually expensive because I was dumb enough to buy them from the optician. Yeah. Well, By the nice. way, if you haven't seen, there's like a video, old one on that Adam ruins everything. It's like, oh, every eyeglass company except for like three is owned by uh, Luxottica. Luxottica. Yeah. So like these are Mont Blanc. No, they're Luxottica with a Mont yeah. Blanc logo on them. Yeah, yeah. Are, they just, uh, yeah. This is my other I one. like those. I think those look great. <laughs> you look very smart, Eric. I should look smart at least. All right, so we've got great we got, glasses. We've got great merchandise. We have a great giveaway. We have the giveaway of oh, the, tell them how to get the giveaway. Tokyo. We're getting there. Okay. Come um, on, Jason, man. We're professionals. Yeah. We know how to do this. So we have. Uh, <laughs> Obviously, look at how our viewership has exploded over the last two years. Although, where the actual? Did you put them back in the drawer? There we go. Yeah, right so here. these are the slippers we're going to give away again from the Tokyo Disneyland Resort. These came from the 40th anniversary suites. I will tell you that they are not different than the other slippers you get from Tokyo Disney Resort uh, or from Tokyo Disneyland Hotel, other than the fact that these happen to come out of the 40th suite. Um, but nonetheless, we also, are giving them away to one of our lucky viewers. If you have like over a size like nine, these are probably going to be too small for you. I mean, yeah, mate. Like, if you are a guy with a size, like, 12 foot, they're probably going to be a little snug on you. doesn't matter. You can really flex on your But I, I, am, I wear a women's size 9 and a half, and I wore them absolutely no problem. So, um, and they're actually kind of comfortable. They're really nice to, they're certainly nice to walk around the hotel room in. I want some slippers now, except I know someone in my household who would just eat them. It's not me. And it's not me. And it's not. Uh, so, all you got to do, uh, we would ask that you... Uh, like and subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, please do. We're trying to grow this channel. I know this channel is very small. We haven't grown very fast. We're kind of under the radar because we have our main channel that's doing extremely well, and this channel is the forgotten stepchild. Uh, but if you like, um, you know, programming like this, a good way to support us is to subscribe and like this video. Uh, like and subscribe, and then all we ask is once the video is up, uh, not in the live chat but in the regular comment section, you need to pay uh, say the phrase that actually. Say anything you want, compliment us, tell us you like us, don't like us, and then I will randomize okay. a, a comment okay. um, to pick. I, you don't have to say a specific phrase, just leave us say a something comment. nice, say something better, share, yeah. you know, if, a story. If we randomize or, and choose your comment and it's mean, you don't win the slippers. No, 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 If we, oh. it, you do. If it's mean, you can win too. I don't care if it's mean. I'm, you literally I'm, just I'm said you want them to leave something nice. Okay, but that's, now you're encouraging them to leave a mean change. comment. Say something nice. Say something nice. It's okay. You know what? I, I, a little behind the behind the scenes, our website people can post comments. Uh huh. We're but aware. What, Some we of them are psychotic. To, we have to approve them. Yeah. Right. They all go into a thing, and with the current political climate, I'm just not approving any of them. Sure. I'm like, don't sit there and fight. I will tell you that there are a lot of people that don't know how to spell the word disgusting, though. Disgusting does not have a C in it. <laughs> disgusting? Disgusting. Is that, yeah. that, twice. Twice disgusting. Um, Maybe we should worry less about teaching children about sexuality and worry more about teaching them how to spell first. Maybe that should be like I the mean, primary yeah, concern. That's the, of that's, the, that's the thing, right? Are you really concerned about what your teachers are talking about in the classroom? Because the kids aren't learning it the anyway. The kids aren't learning it anyway. <laughs> Um, with that highly inflammatory political speech, um, we will see you next time. We'll be here next week. My schedule's a little fluid because uh, Andy is going to be having some yep. surgery and 
all that kind of stuff, and I'm going to be traveling a little bit here and there. But Jill, I'm sure, will hold down the fort. I'll hold down the Maybe fort. Maybe Jill and Lee can... No, Lee's looking at me like, how dare you? We'll see. We'll see. Um, we'll have fun. But, She's but wearing we have, a tiara, though. We have tons more merch. Maybe we can bribe her with a tiara. Merch is our normal barrier between having a show and not having a show. And now we have so much Next merch to we Jill don't traveling know what to do. all over the world. And um, so, but we have plenty of merch. We got a lot of material. We have a lot of shows. So uh, let us know if you like the show, what you'd like to see in the future. Maybe make suggestions like Eric, comb your hair, or don't don't put salsa in the toddler seat of your shopping cart, or whatever. Something I don't care. like that. Something like that. At any rate, we will see you next next week. Next week. Yeah. All, next well, week? next week, Thursday, WWAF. Indeed. Friday, Box Dead. Indeed. And. I'll also be recording five episodes of oh, WW News today, today, Disneyland News Today, Universal, Universal Parks News Today, because Tom's going to be on a freaking cruise. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thanks, everybody.